Yeah, but la lack of sleep is just terrible, you know? I stress too much, guys. Um, I feel like the way I was raised in my family, like I didn't really learn good coping mechanism for stress and now here I am 42 years old and it's like still plaguing me to this day and it's a matter of like retraining yourself which you know doesn't come overnight and it's not easy but I just like stress so hard and catastrophize about things um, I've struggled with like depression for a huge portion of my life since I was like 12, 13 years old. Um, and I never had anxiety up until honestly. And like, I don't know, maybe about a year into COVID ish or six months into COVID, like, it was the first time in my life I got like anxiety. So, like, that's bummed me out. I'm like, I, I already struggled with depression. Now, sprinkle in. Now, in a pinch of anxiety, go get him, tiger. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, it's really depressing, but it's like it seems like I notice it in a lot of other people, too. You know, I, I see my friends and family and just even just strangers that seem like they deal with depression and anxiety like a lot, you know, and then it makes my mind wonder like well what's going on like something's going on on a bigger scale like it seems abnormal for so many people to be so depressed so anxious um you know all all the negative emotions and all the negative mental conditions man um I'm open about my Christianity and faith and I can't help but think it's these are the uh, consequences and side effects of a, a society that majority majority the majority doesn't care about God or follow God or seek God um, including me I've spent years of my life not seeking God and putting God on the back burner or putting God second or third or fourth on the list of my priorities and I've, I've spent years battling addiction to marijuana and alcohol and and uh, in relationships with women having premarital sex and it's just it's not good and it's common all these things are common I mean premarital sex isn't even looked at at all as bad um I think addiction still looked at as bad like everyone knows it's not good to be an addict but not really when it comes to weed anymore people don't really think it's a big deal if you're a pothead and smoke like crazy um, so it's like these abnormal things have become normalized you know and that's not good God doesn't want us to live that way and, and I'm no angel you know I've struggled with it and I, I pray that my days of addiction to drugs and alcohol are over for sure I hope my days of uh, premarital sex are over because they're like it's sin and the Bible says that sin is bondage and we've got it twisted our, our popular culture has got it twisted the devil lies to us and entices us our own desire for the darkness tricks us and we lie to ourselves and and we think like whatever something someone a thing whatever is going to be the thing that'll save us or make us feel better and, and it doesn't you know so i've been going through like a lot of self-reflection and looking inward the last oh specifically like three years man and taking a good honest look at yourself in the mirror for me has been like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life and especially because I've lived such a dark life you know the darker the life the more demons to face in the mirror man and it's it's not 
pleasant or fun, but it's necessary and it is doable, especially with God, especially with the help of God, you know.